is going on, everyone? It's Coach Seth. Uh, today, I know I have a shirt on, uh, but we are going to be doing some upper body, some arms, some back, some chest, and shoulders. I've got a really good one for you today. Um, you are more than likely going to want weights for this. Um, anything that we do with weights can be mimicked without weights. Um, I just want you to focus on squeezing through all of the muscles. I'm just saying that now, so just know if you don't have weights, um, anything that requires or I demo with weights um, can be done body weight, just mimicking all of the exercises, focusing on squeezing those muscles all the way through, no matter what that exercise is. All right, so I'm going to take you through a quick little shoulder warm up and then we're going to get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to have you do, um, I just call it the Michael Phelps, just a nice big opening up that chest and back. Make sure you're alternating which hand is on top. Starting out just a little bit slower today, but that's all right. We'll get into it. I won't let you guys down. I got another good one planned for you today. So hit this for just a little bit. Now what I'm going to have you do is go into some inchworms with a core stretch. So we're going to get our feet just a little bit closer than shoulder width. We get a big hamstring stretch. We're going to walk it all the way out. Then drop the hips to the floor and pop it back up. Walk it back in. We're going to do two more just like that, and then I'm gonna switch it up on you just a little bit. Good, nice and controlled. And one more, all the way out. Drop the hips to the floor. All right, we're gonna keep doing those inchworms, but we're gonna change what's happening at the bottom. So this time, when we go out on that fourth one, I'm gonna get an arm circle on each side, and then walk it back in. Make sure that you're pushing those heels to the floor as quickly as you can, getting that hamstring stretch every single time. Doesn't matter which arm you start on, just one on each side, walk it back in. Let's get two more like that, all the way out. Big rotation, big rotation, and all the way back in. One more. Good, and after this second one, what we're gonna do is just stay in this plank, with those same big shoulder rotations. I wanna make sure your shoulders are nice and loose before we get it started. Make sure we're warmed up and ready to go. Good, just a few more seconds of this. There we go. Now we're gonna take that right into shoulder taps. So I'm gonna show you real quick right here. We're in that push-up position. Just tapping those shoulders one at a time. Just get some blood moving through those shoulders. Get them nice and toasty. Good, keep that core tight. We want to stay in a good plank position the whole time. Good, 10 more seconds. Stay in that plank, keep everything nice and tight. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, so to start things out today, I got just a little bit of like a spicy opener. We're gonna get a nice little pump going, get some blood moving in those biceps and triceps. So we're gonna do like a little follow the leader thing. You're just gonna keep pace with me. What we're gonna do is four different arm exercises. We'll go biceps, triceps, biceps, triceps. And we're just gonna alternate between those four exercises a few times. We're not gonna do time. You're just gonna follow me. We're just gonna go sort of to failure. We're just gonna keep a, qu a quick pace going, get a lot of reps in, and just keep moving for a long time, all right? So, I'm gonna show you those four exercises. First one is just regular curls. We're standing here, we're gonna curl. I like to twist the palms up at the top and twist it away at the bottom. So those are your curls. The second exercise we have is an overhead extension. You're gonna push those dumbbells together, push your weights together, hold one heavy one overhead, whatever works for you, all the way down, all the way up. If you watch, my elbows stay in that same place. If you're watching from the front, my elbows stay right next to my ears. Keep that core tight and chest pulled down. Then we have gladiator curls across the body, all the way across. I like to aim for just on the outside of the opposite nipple, kind of coming into the shoulder. Keep that hand in nice and tight. This is our third exercise, the gladiator curls. The fourth exercise, we're gonna hinge at the hips all the way over like we're about to use some rows. Pull those elbows up to the sides and kick it back. If you notice, my elbows are gonna be staying in that same place the whole time. Um, you're gonna want um, something pretty light because those kickbacks are gonna get kind of hard. So keep that in mind, those kickbacks are a lot harder than they look. 
We're going to start with those curls in five, four, three, two. We're going to go right to those curls. You start getting some blood movement. Like I said, I'm not going off of any official time on this. We're just going to get it burned until I feel like I can't go anymore. And then we're going to switch. We're trying to keep that rest to a minimum too. Just get a nice little pump first thing in the morning. I got to make this tank top look good. There we go. We got to be ready. Got to be ready for the sun that's coming out this nice weather. Good. Just a couple more seconds. Keep that quick pace. Gonna get a nice little burn going. Good. Let's get four more reps. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And one. All right. We're gonna go right into those overhead extensions. Palms together. Elbows by the ears, all the way down, all the way up. Same thing, just that nice, smooth pace. You're gonna get a nice little pump going. Good, keep those elbows in place the whole time. Keep that core tight. If you're feeling it in your lower back, you need to squeeze those abs. Oh yeah. Get a nice little pump going today. Good. Let's get seven more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, right into those gladiator curls across the body. We're not moving super fast yet, but we're keeping a consistent pace the whole time. Squeezing whatever muscle we're working on with these, these curls. We're really focusing on that bicep. We are squeezing it all the way through trying to keep as much tension on that bicep as we can for as long as possible. Let's get some nice curls in. Good, this is one of my all time favorite bicep exercises. Oh yeah, already feel those muscles tightening up, filling up with blood, getting that nice little pump going. Good, let's get three more each side. One, one, two, Two, last one each side, three, and three. Now we're gonna finish it out with these kickbacks, hinged over at the hips, pull those elbows high, kick it straight back. Yeah, just that nice control pace. This is gonna be the shortest one by far. This is the hardest of the exercises relative to what weight we're holding here. Good, let's get five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to shut, set those weights down, shake out those arms a little bit. We're gonna do another round of that. Just let those forearms rest just a little bit. I know they could be getting kinda tight holding on to those dumbbells for so long. All right, grab your weights, here we go. Round number two, in three, two, one. We are right back to those curls. Yeah, everything's gonna be just a little bit harder this time. Keeping it nice and controlled if you're watching from the sides. My elbows are coming forward just a little bit, but I'm not letting tension off by coming all the way up here like this, okay? So we're squeezing and I kick forward just a tiny little bit, but they are staying in nice and tight to my sides the whole time. Good, five more. Four, three, two, last one. One good one, and right into that extension. Big extension, every single time. Good, nice big extension. Letting those triceps work. Getting that burn going. Should be feeling it all along the back of those arms. Five, four, three, two, and one, good, right into those gladiator curls. Oh yeah, I already feel it. There we go, just that nice smooth pace. We're not trying to move crazy fast. We're trying to focus on squeezing every single muscle all the way through each rep, getting the most out of each rep every single time. Oh yeah. Good, that elbow stays in nice and tight. It's gonna come forward just a little bit, but it is always staying close to your body. 
Good. Three more. Three, three, two, two, one, one, and right into those kickbacks. Hinge to the hips, keep that flat back, elbows up, and kick back. Good, nice cool. You can notice I'm pausing for just a half second at the top of these kickbacks. That's just so I can really squeeze that tricep, the back of that arm, all the way through. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to do it one more time because I love hitting arms and we don't get enough of them. Just straight arms. So, shake it out just a little bit. Give you another five or ten seconds. Get ready. We're going to grab those dumbbells. Get it started in four, three. Back to those curls for the final time. Two, one. Right into it. Nice and controlled. Just following my pace. We're not moving super fast. Squeezing those biceps all the way through. Oh, yeah. Good, nice and controlled. Five, four, three, two, one, and right into that extension. Yeah, let's finish up this little arm force you can. All the way down, all the way up. Let's try steps work. Squeeze them all the way through. Five, four, Three, two, one, and we're right to those gladiator curls. All the way across the body, right into it. We're not wasting any time trying to burn out those arms. I swear, only I would put a burnout at the beginning of the workout because that makes so much sense. But you know, I like ruining your days and at the same time, I guess today I'm ruining my own day. That's okay. There we go. Squeeze and all the way through. Squeeze and all the way through. Good control. Just keep those elbows in tight. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Let's finish this out now. Hands to the hips, elbows high, kick it back. Good, keeping that back flat the whole time. Squeeze those abs, kicking it straight back. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, set those down. Grab yourself a quick drink. Make sure we stay hydrated, get those forearms a little bit of rest. We are moving on to the next portion that I got for you today. So, how this next portion is gonna work is every single exercise is going to have a seven second negative, which means the eccentric motion of it is going to be seven seconds long. So, for something like a push-up, which is our first exercise, a seven second negative is gonna look like this. We're here in that push-up position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up, okay? So, every exercise I show you is gonna be that. Here's how we're gonna time it. We're gonna be working for one minute, a full minute. Seven seconds on the way down, nice and quick on the way up. So you're not gonna get that many reps, but we're gonna be under tension, getting that chest, those shoulders and triceps, a lot of work on those push-ups. So, seven seconds down, nice and quick on the way up. If you don't know what that is, just follow my timing. I'm not gonna count out every single rep because my I won't be able to talk that much while I'm working. Um, but you can follow my lead or just count your head as long as it's close. That's fine, just don't count super fast. I want a slow seven seconds. So we're going to do one minute on, 15 seconds off, three rounds of push-ups. That's all we need to focus on for right now. So I'm gonna get ready for those push-ups. Shake out those arms. We got seven seconds on the way down, starting in five, four, three, two, one, and we're right into it. Push those shoulders forward, elbows to the sides, nice and slow. Five, six, seven, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up. It's gonna be exactly the same on your knees. If you need to drop your knees, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and up. Nice and slow. Just like I said, it's the exact same on your knees as it is on your toes. Got it nice and slow all the way down. Pop up nice and quick. Good. If you need that to be a little bit easier even, what you can do is go down even slower and stop about halfway. So we're going down really, 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 really slow. We're going to stop about halfway and come back up. Or what you can do is rest at the bottom so we can go all the way down. Rest at the bottom, lift those arms up. You can kind of roll up and then take that nice and slow on the way down again. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, I would sit up, shake out those shoulders a little bit, get some tension off of them. We got another minute. Round number two, starting in five, four, three, two, one, and we're right back at it. Exactly the same thing, nice and slow on the way down, popping up quick. If you need to rest in between each one just a little bit, that's fine. These are gonna catch up to us, but not super easy. Elbows stay tight to the sides all the way down. Up nice and quick, and like I said, you can rest in between each one for just a couple seconds. Jump right back in it as soon as you can, on those knees if needed. And then remember, if you need a little bit more of a modification, you can just stop just a little bit higher. Nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. Pause it halfway, come back up. Do what you gotta do to stay moving. Stay in it, just one rep at a time. Nice and slow, and pop up. Rest just a little bit. Nice and slow. Four, five, six, seven. Pop it back up. Drop to the knees if needed. There's a bunch of modifications for this one. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. We got one more set of those. They're sneaking up on me. Starting to get my chest burning just a little bit already. Make sure that you don't let those elbows come out to the sides and come up. We want to keep them down, keep them tight. That'll keep everything in your chest. All right, here we go. Final time doing push-ups in four, three, two, one. Final time doing these push-ups here. Let's knock it out. Nice and slow on the way down. Quick on the way up. Slow on the way down. And quick on the way up. Remember, if you feel like you can't get up from that push-up after doing second, seven seconds on the way down, that's fine. Go all the way down nice and slow and then roll yourself back up. Give that chest a little bit of a break and ride back in it. Same thing, nice and controlled on the way down. Nice and slow and then rolling yourself back up. Rest for a bit, right back in it. And roll it back up, shake it out, pop back in it. We still got a couple seconds left. Let's get two more if we can. Back up, final time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pop it back up and get yourself a little bit of rest. That's three minutes down. We got another exercise next. Shake out those shoulders just a little bit. Hit your little dance, do your thing. Grab those dumbbells for what's next. I'm gonna demo them while you're resting. So just chill, you can just watch for now. We are gonna do some rows, but they're gonna be a little bit different. So pull your shoulders back. Pinched at the hips, just like we were for those kickbacks. We're gonna pull both of them up, just like we did for the kickbacks. And then we're gonna do one at a time, nice and slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pop back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pop it back up. If you notice, my shoulders are not gonna round forward. They're gonna stay back tight the whole time. If that becomes too hard to hold one up, you can just do both at the same time. And this one too can be done body weight. We're here, two, three, four, okay? Just like that, just squeeze, squeeze those shoulders all the way through the whole time. All right, let's get it rolling. Three, two, one, pinched over, pull them both up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, pop back up, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Pop back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pop back up. Three, four, five, six, seven. And like I was saying, you can do both at the same time if you need to. Pop it back up. Make sure you're squeezing that core. 
I don't want anything taken over in the low back. If you're doing this body weight, I want you to go slow on the way up so you can squeeze, 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 squeeze. Then you can pop it back down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. See, the only thing different about body weight is we're going slow on the way up. Seven, back down one more. Three, four, five, six, seven, and rest. Good, that's the first one done. Shake out those shoulders, hit your little dance, do your thing. Ooh, all right, here we go. Big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. In three, two, one. We got round two, hitting those dumbbell rows. Remember, nice and slow, nice and slow. If you're like me and hate counting, just go as slow as you can manage while keeping good form. You don't have to count your head the whole time. That just bothers me. I got other things to think about, isn't that right? Good, just nice and slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you feel it in your low back, stand up, stretch it out a little bit. Big deep breath, keep that core tight, squeeze those abs, squeeze those abs the whole time. Nice and controlled on the way down. You wanna be squeeze, 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 squeeze in those abs, that's gonna help so that lower back is doing all of the work. One more, five, four, three, two, and rest, good. All right, shake it out. We got one more round of these. We are almost done with this. Well, this one. All right, shake it out. Do your little dance. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. We're hinging at the hips. Pull the elbows nice and high. Nice and slow on the way down. Good, controlled. Keeping the core tight. Controlled, keeping the core tight. And like I said, if you're doing these body weight, we are squeezing slow on the way up. Three, four, five, six, seven. And you will feel those lats underneath. You will feel them be getting tight. As you're pulling back, you will feel them get tight. If you're not, I want you just to focus on pulling your elbows. Don't think about pulling your hands. Pulling those elbows as high and as hard as you can and squeezing your shoulder blades together. Don't feel those lats engage. Good, nice and slow. Slow and controlled, slow and controlled, slow and controlled. Squeezing as high as you can. Four, three, two, and rest. Good. All right, we got three rounds of that done. I'm gonna grab a drink real quick so I can continue talking. And not have a super dry mouth. All right. We are on our third exercise. This one is gonna get a little spicy. So, what we have is a bear press. So, we are gonna be in the bear crawl position. So that means shoulders over, or sorry, hips over the knees, shoulders over the tops of the hands. Pop those knees barely off the ground. Elbows stay in tight. Head falls way out in front of the hands. Just like that. This is gonna be a really, really hard one. If you need to do it on your knees, that's fine. Just remember, we are not pushing that head straight down. I am trying to touch my head all the way out on my hands. So I'm gonna roll up onto my knees, my elbows still stay in tight, and I'm falling forward. This is gonna be a lot more triceps and shoulders than chest, but what I don't want is you in that bear crawl position and doing the press with your elbows flaring out, head going in between the hands. We wanna keep those elbows in tight. I'm gonna show you one more time this way. Just like this, you can kind of see how my elbows are staying. We're here, I'm gonna push my head forward. Elbows stay into the sides the whole time. Think about it, your elbows are just coming back like this. All right, catch your breath, you got 10 seconds. I'm gonna get those bear extensions start, or bear presses started. Like I said, I'll show these first on their knees so you can kind of see what that looks like. Three, two, one, let's go. So if I'm on my knees, shoulders are still over the hands, hips over the knees. Gonna roll forward, let that head fall, and pop back up. And then if that's easy, we're still doing that seven second negative. Three, four, five, six, seven, pop it back up. This is a really hard one. Might need to just be on those knees the whole time, that's okay. And back up, nice and controlled. If you need to, take a little pressure off those shoulders. 
I know they're starting to get tired already. I've already done a ton of work on them. Up to the toes if you can. Nice and controlled. Pop it back up. I'm gonna bring my hands in just a little bit further. If you're not feeling it in your shoulders as much, you probably should bring those hands back just a little bit. We got 10 seconds. Let's get one more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up, and rest. All right, we got that first round down. That's a fun one, isn't it? I know my shoulders and triceps are lit up already. So this one's getting it burning real good right out of the gates. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one, let's go. So we're in that bare position. Shoulders over the hands, hips over the knees, elbows in nice and tight, head falls forward, pops it back up. My shoulders might be too gassed to do these all on my toes. I'm gonna stick to my knees, elbows in, all the way forward, slow, 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 pop it back up. Elbows in, all the way forward, slow, 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 pop it back up. Let's slow it down just a little bit more than that. Same idea, elbows in nice and tight, Slow, 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 slow. Pop it back up. There we go. We got just enough time for two more. Let's hit them real quick. Up. I'm gonna finish this out with one on my toes. Here we go. Final seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Up and rest. All right. We got one more round of those. I know everybody's having. A good time. I'm having a good time. Hit my little dance real quick. I miss dancing and partying with you guys. Bothering you during your workouts. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Make it as many as you can. Try not to rest too much this time. All the way down slow. Pop it up quick. Stretch out the shoulders a little bit. And we're right back in it. Pop it up, stretch it out, nice and slow, elbows in nice and tight, pushing that nose all the way out in front of the fingers, keeping it controlled, keeping it working as much as we possibly can. Pop it up, good, just stay with it, stay with it. Slow it down just a little bit more, three, four, Five, six, seven, up. Then, last time, come on, let's get one more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pop it up, and that's it. Three rounds of that done, goodbye. All right, shake it out. My shoulders are lit up, and lucky for you guys, we got a shoulder exercise. Next, let me just grab a quick drink of water. I'm talking too much, my mouth's getting dry. All right, so, this next one's gonna suck just a little bit, and that's okay. We all came here for that anyway. So we're here, we're gonna go up, nice and quick, slight bend in the elbows, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is gonna suck just as bad. Use a body weight or just a small can or something real light. We're gonna go up, squeeze the shoulders, notice, just a slight bend if you're looking at it from the side. Just a slight bend in the elbow. I do that so it just makes my elbows feel better. I don't like being all the way locked out. We're here, slow, slow, slow. If you notice, my shoulder blades are squeezed together even as they come down. All right, so we're gonna hit these lateral raises. You're gonna want a pretty light weight. These 12s are feeling a lot heavier already than they should. Big deep breath. Remember, shoulders back, slight bend in the elbows. In five, four, three, Two, one, here we go. Up nice and quick, shoulders back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, back up. Five, six, Seven. Back up. There we go. Woo! Good. Like I was saying, body weight. It is exactly the same. Squeeze. Squeeze all the way down. Squeeze it all the way down. Squeeze it all the way down. Same thing as us with weights. 
if you don't have any, that's not a big deal. Even if you were holding like a salt shaker or something, just something in your hand, I promise it's going to make those shoulders burn. Burn, burn, burn. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, shake out those shoulders. We're going to get right back into round two. My shoulders are gassed already. I'm having a blast. You like that one, Ryan? It's cute. I thought of it all by myself. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, right into it. Up, down, nice and slow. All the way up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice and controlled. Woo! My shoulders are gunzo already. Gunzo, you like that word? Shoulders back. Stay with it. Come on. Woo! I can't keep my arms up anymore. I'm going to go body weight. Up, now, nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. I want you squeezing. Those of you going body weight, if you need to, even slow on the way up, squeeze it all the way back, down, nice and controlled. Keep it slow for that whole movement. I promise those shoulders will light up. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Yeah, shake out those shoulders. We got one more round. One more, that's it. Here we go, big deep breath. Pitch a little dance, do your little groove. Four, three, two, one, final time. Here we go. All the way up, down, nice and slow. All the way up, nice and slow. My shoulders are screaming. Screaming at me. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what we came here for. This suck. This is what we came here for. Woo. Burn. There we go. I'm going to roll my shoulders around just a little bit. Loosen them up. I'm right back in. Right back in. Keep it slow. Keep it slow, even if you can't hold it up for the full seven seconds. Shake it out. We got one more, one more. Pop it up. So, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. And set those dumbbells down. Grab yourself a quick drink. That's three rounds of those. Knocked out. Next up, we have dips. These are not going to be very fun either, and that's okay. That's what we're here for, like we've been saying, okay? So, shoulders rolled back. Keep them rolled back. Elbows stay tight to the sides. The further your feet are out, the harder it's going to be, the closer they're in, the easier it's going to be. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pop it back up, all right? This one's going to be brutal because our shoulders and triceps and chest are already tired, already sore. But let's finish this out. This is the last one of these that we got. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's knock out these three rounds. If your shoulders and triceps are gassed like mine, keep those heels in nice and close. The closer they are in, the more weight it's gonna take off of those shoulders and triceps. Or if you're feeling real strong still, you can kick those feet out. Whatever you do, just keep those hips tight and make sure that we are pulling those shoulders. They want to stay back the whole time. When they roll forward on those dips, it's not a good range of motion for those shoulders. So, you want to keep those shoulders pulled back the whole time. Pulled back. Back and down. I don't want them up by your ears. Want them back and down. Nice and controlled. Keep them moving, keep them moving. 10 seconds. Good, let's get one more. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, Ooh, that one burns. I'ma stand up, I'ma hit my dance. There we go, I'm ready to go. Let's knock this out, we got two minutes left on this one. Here we go, five, four, shoulders back and down in three, two, one, shoulders back. Here we go, all the way down, all the way up. Nice and slow, pop it back up. Slow, 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 slow. Pop it back up. Here we go. 
let that pressure off if you need to. As long as you're keeping it slow and keeping it moving, take that rest as needed. This is a brutal one. I knew that coming into it. Give myself a little bit of rest in between each one. That's okay. Just look at a nice, slow rep. Let those shoulders, those triceps burn. Getting all of that time under tension. Don't even need weights to make this suck. There we go. Shake it out. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right, we got one round left. One time, let's finish this out, and then I got a little something special planned for you after this. That little something special is gonna be a fun time. All right, get your breath real quick. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, right into it. All the way down, pop it up. All the way down. Pop it up. A little rest, and I'm right back in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up. Get a little rest, but I lost my microphone there. Shake it out, right back in. See if we can get three more. Five, six, seven, pop it back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got one more, one more. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, grab yourself a drink. We got a little finisher left. And by little, it's seven minutes, so it's not really that small. But I'm feeling kind of mean today, so that's what we're going with. We got seven minute finish left. Okay, so while you're resting, catch your breath. Seven minutes. We're gonna get as many rounds as we possibly can in. I am encouraging you to go faster than I am, okay? I'm gonna set a quick, not super fast pace, but a good kind of somewhere, I would say in the middle. Nice and controlled, trying to keep it moving for the full seven minutes, but I'm not gonna be busting it as hard as I can go. I want you, yes, you to bust it as hard as you can go, okay? I want you going as hard as you can. If that's not as fast as me, don't care. I want you going as fast as you can, okay? I'm just gonna set a pace in the middle of something. It doesn't even matter what my pace is. Follow along if you want to, if you want something to keep the pace to, but I'm encouraging you to go as hard as you can, whatever that means for you, all right? So, we have three exercises, and we're gonna do 10 reps on each. Three exercises, 10 reps each, and you're gonna try to see as many rounds of that as you can. You'll do 10 on one, 10 on the next one, 10 on the third one, and start back over. As many rounds of that as you can get in seven minutes, all right? So, the first exercise that we have is snatches. It's gonna be 10 on each side. I would encourage doing all 10 on one side before you go to 10 on the other. We're gonna dip the dumbbell down between the knees. I'm going to pop up, pull that elbow as high as I can. When the elbow hits the top, that's all the momentum I need to get the hand to snap through. So if we're here, pop it up. Notice it's a nice, snappy, quick movement. And I'm just popping down between the knees just enough to get a little momentum. Then I have 10 plank rows. The plank rows are also gonna be 10 on each side. We're gonna be here in that plank position. Elbows high, one, one, two, two, three, three, okay? That's our plank rows. And then we are gonna finish it with 10 of burpees because it's my workout. We always do burpees. Drop the chest to the floor. Roll up, pop the feet in, pop the top. Okay, you know what? These are feeling a little light for me. So, because I'm encouraging you to go hard and challenge yourself, I'm gonna go hard and challenge myself. Grab a heavier set of dumbbells, and we're gonna make this work. All right? I'm gonna get this box out of the way just a little bit here. All right, here we go. I'm gonna set up right here. We're gonna get it started. I'm gonna face that way when I'm doing my, my plank rows. So, here we go. Seven minutes. Everything you got. Big deep breath. Here we go. In five. In four. In three, two, one. 
right into it. I'm going to set a nice smooth pace and I'm going to try to maintain this the whole time. I apologize if I get my counting wrong or I don't talk for a little bit of time. It's because I'm the worst counter. And two, incorporate that with working out and moving it or, and talking at the same time. Not a great combo. So if you're perfectly following along with me, you may end up doing a couple extra on one side or not enough on the other. That's okay, because we're just trying to stay moving. Eight, nine, 10. I'm gonna go right into those plank rows now. Right here, push up position. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. And just keeping it moving. Stay with it, keep it moving. 10 and 10, and right into the burpees. Chest to the floor, pop up. There we go, just knocking them out. We're not moving crazy fast. Five, six, whatever it means for you, I want you to move your hardest. Move as quickly as you can. Burning it out. Nine and ten. One round done. Shake it out. I'm gonna go right back into those snatches. Here we go. All the way down. All the way up. Nice and snappy. Ten on everything. a fancy little handoff there, wasn't it? I've been practicing at home. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right into those plank rows. So I can pick up that pace a little bit. Okay, come on, stay with me, come on. And 10, and we're right to those burpees. Chest to the floor, pop it, pop it, one. There we go, set the pace, stick into it. Three, four, oh yeah. Love me some burpees. Six. Sorry, six. Let's count it there. I told you. Not good. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Here we go. Shake it out. Right back into it. We got three and a half minutes left. That's the halfway point. See if we can pick up that pace. Just a little bit. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. I don't know if you can hear me breathing, but I'm breathing heavy. Seven, eight, nine. 10, right into those plank reps. Woo! Oh yeah, here we go. There we go, just chipping away, chipping away. One rep at a time, getting it done. And 10. Right into the burpees. Try and stop. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Woo. Four. I've been eating too many hot Cheetos. Six. Seven. Eight. 
Two more. Yeah. Nine. And ten. Right back to those snatches. Nine, ten. We got a minute and a half left. Ninety seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right into the plank press. Almost there. Stay with me. Come on. Good. We got 45 seconds left. All the way through. Let's get these burpees done. Four. Come on. Finish. Finish. Stay with me. Five. Six. Stay and move until the end. Come on. Seven. We got 15 seconds left. Eight. Nine. Ten seconds. Ten. Little bonus reps. Five. Four. Three. Two. And time. That is it. 45 minutes. That's your upper body workout. I will see you next time. Thank you.